Well, good morning, YouTube. Ugh, I'm tired, guys. If you remember the close of yesterday's video, it was about 1 a.m. when I went to bed. I woke up with a headache this morning, didn't get a lot of sleep because I, no, I'm sorry, it was 1 a.m. Bad, scratch all that. If you remember the close of yesterday's video, it was like 1 a.m. when we got done working on the bikes. By the time we got our tools cleaned up, 1.30 when I started to edit the video, Took me to a little after two, so I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. Slept in a little bit this morning to make up for it, but not enough. So now it's about 20 till nine, and we are trying to figure out another dilemma. Remember my granddaughter, Brooklyn, she was in the video for just a moment there. She was saying goodbye last night. Well, I guess when she was going potty earlier in the day, she flushed the toilet in, in our toilet in Goliath sometimes the pedal will stick well i guess it stuck and no one noticed so it had completely depleted all of our fresh water and dumped it into the black tank so this morning i had to brush my teeth with a water bottle and my toothbrush and we've got no running water in goliath at all right now so we've got to come up with a solution for that there is water on property but it's too far away for us just to run a hose and our tank doesn't really have a good spot we just dump water in it so we're gonna get creative and we're gonna figure something out. We have had to do this before, but a little bit different situation. All right guys, and apparently it is official as you can see right here. I finally received the notification of us making the 15,000 subscribers. So we knew it happened, but sometimes it takes a little while before they actually sent me the message. But now it is official. Can you hear that? about 9 a.m. I'm assuming they're gonna open those gates any moment now and those of you that have followed the channel for a while you know that I absolutely love being here at Daytona the sounds of the race bikes in the background because it takes me back to my roots when I first got started in this industry working inside those pits for a race team some really good times back then Officially open. You can see the bikes are wrapped all the way around the corner, waiting for those gates to open up. It's about quarter till 11, and it's looking like another busy day here at the Daytona International Speedway. There's a lot of people walking around, bikes pulling in like crazy. Now, I actually had to leave for a little bit. When I came back, the guys were going at it hard. I had to run out and get some more brake clean. I need to get a water pump so we can fix our water situation. But now, I don't even have time to deal with it because we got so many bikes in line and more coming in. Looks like it could be a very good day. Mike and Angel came in to visit us today and he brought me some maple syrup. Thanks guys, I really appreciate you. We appreciate you. All right guys, you can see we still got all four lifts full and I have got a massive freaking line here. We had a couple big love jug jobs come in and they slowed us down. All of these are all oil changes. So once we get those lifts cleared, we'll be able to knock these out pretty quick. So yeah, 10 in line. But going up four at a time, we should be able to knock them out fast as long as we can get these problem children that we have on the lift to take care of first. So these are the kind of things that slow us down to get a love jug install, but customer doesn't have factory horn or a similar horn. We get a, it takes a little bit more effort to make it work. And the one Talon's working on is a little challenging too because the customer has a strange horn cover. And then the one that Chip is working on is a frame mount kit. And they always take a little bit longer as well. And today we're joined by the lovely Alyssa. Say hi to you too.
got the problem love jugs done except for uh, this one here Mike is just finishing up now it's time to start knocking out all these oil changes so we can make some moves lifts are still full and I've got 13 in line they just keep coming keep on coming yeah we are so far in the weeds guys we haven't had a line this big since the Sturgis 75th anniversary we were just absolutely hammered there of course I only had two guys doing oil changes now we've got four but to the point now I wish I had more lifts I could jump in and help but there's literally nothing I can do. These guys are working their tails off to go as fast as I can without rushing and we'll get it caught up. jumping in doing a love jug down here on the ground but now we're down to only three in line so I was just getting ready to say and now there's only two but as soon as I took the one here another one pulled in so now we're back to three but I'm taking one of these so we'll be back to two again
happened again. There were two. And then the third one showed up again. All right, it happened again. We're down to two. It's getting ready to move this one up. Indian comes in, now we're back to three. All right, guys, it happened again. I just took the bike that was right there, and one's taking its place. Good problems to have, I guess. I'm not sure how we did it, but we ended up in the weeds again. Yes.
so busy, I wouldn't normally be walking around getting footage, but I told you about the whole cracked wheel situation with uh, Talon's wheel. Well, Coastal Modal came through and uh, they had a wheel delivered to me. So uh, we get Talon's bike rolling again. But they won't let him in the gate, so I had to go meet him at the gate with the hand truck to get it. So I figured I'd get a little bit of walking around footage while I'm doing it. Look at Talon handling the motorcycles like a big burly man. Like his papa. He's my special boy! Hey Talon, I got a gift for you. Almost. Different spoke design. Melissa wants to ride Gus's little motor scooter around, so I'm just gonna give it a try. Figure we better record it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll have to wait till after closing. Okay. Look guys, Mickey came to see us again. Hi. And let's not forget about this sexy mofo. For you ladies out there, that's Mickey's man. And then there were none. Okay, not really none. We still got four up on the lifts. And unfortunately, our trike lift right here, the one that Mike is working on, we I think we bumped the seal out of it again because now we won't lift the motorcycle. So Mike's got to do it the hard way, unfortunately. Welcome to Bike Week. Yeah, All right, so it's just a little bit after four, it's just we don't have anything in line. Katie, Alyssa, and Amanda are starting to pack up the non-essential stuff. I pulled the love jug signs down, putting all the Oversock back in Goliath. The guys are still finishing up on these bikes. Talon's going to pull his front wheel and see if we can get that other wheel on there so that his bike is mobile. Not sure the axle is going to work. If you guys remember, last year, no, year before last in Deadwood, I had my axle custom machine to fit the bearings in the wheel that I gave Talon. So we're not sure how it's going to fit in this wheel. I have a feeling it's going to be too small but we're gonna see what we can do with it anyways. And then we're gonna to try to get everything cleaned and organized so when we make the call to close for the night, we're packing it all in. All this will be boxed up before we go to dinner tonight. Touch the engine because the engine is hot. 
No. Yeah, sure. Just now, six o'clock, as you can tell, these three ladies have just absolutely killed it breaking down the uh, showroom area. I've got to put the batteries away. I do the heavy stuff so the girls don't have to carry the batteries. The guys are still working. We still got three bikes up on the lift. It's the last ones right now. I'm also trying to pack and clean up the trailer so that uh, when they're done, we can just do the final teardown and hopefully, hopefully we'll have dinner by eight o'clock. That's the, that's the plan. I don't know that we're gonna get it, but that's the plan. If you guys are into the performance bagger look like I am, this is an absolutely beautiful bike. I don't know that I would own it in this color scheme, but I definitely appreciate how good it looks. And I made a mistake. I said those three up there were the last ones. Completely forgot. Got an Indian sitting right here. We got to do an oil change on as soon as one of these comes down. I think two of them are getting ready to come down. So we should get that one up right away. You know, and last night, you guys couldn't get a good look of the new wheel that I put on my bike, but that's it. It's very similar to the wheel I had on there, just with a lot more spokes and it doesn't have the contrast cut. Same size and everything though. And like I said earlier, Coastal Moto came through. So this is the wheel they got over here quickly for Talon. It's similar, different spoke design. But it's the same size and everything. Now he's still got to get his second caliper put back on there. But uh, his brake line kit, because I gave him mine, wouldn't work. But definitely changes the look of the bike. Now it's not just an old man bike. It looks like an old man's bike that's trying to be young. Yeah. All right, 6.30. Talon is finishing up the last motorcycle. And Amanda and I are ready to go upstairs in the trailer to load the loft. All right, so everything that's on this lift, we've, we've got to throw it up into the loft up top. All right, the loft is loaded. Now time to fill the lift. Hey guys, we're running a little bit behind schedule. It is now 7.49, but really all that's left is to pull the awnings down and pack them away and the flags that are up top. And with this much manpower, that shouldn't take very long. So. I think we're gonna get started on it. Get it done. Right. The awning on Goliath is done. Now it's time to do the trailer. All right, guys, both awnings down, packed away. My gangway is laid back down on the roof. We're just about done. Time to go eat.
hurry up, you two. Hey, Talon, did you ever wonder why the BJ's restaurant was so close to Dick's? Why? Hello? Well, guys, it's all done, and I guess just in time. I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to rain. It's just a light sprinkle now. You know, all in all, it was a really good week. You know, at the beginning, we had some days where our sales weren't quite what we wanted them to be. And, uh, you know, we stayed positive. It is what it is. They were still good days. They just weren't as good as last year. But then towards the end of the event, we had some days that we just soared past our sales from last year, which were amazing sales last year. So when it all came down to the end, all numbers final, we were actually up for the event. So very happy with that. The guys worked their tails off. So did the girls. We all are feeling it for sure. And I'm really glad that we assembled this team that we did. Everybody had their part and everybody did their part. And all in all, I'm very thankful for the entire crew. Without everyone here, we may not have been able to stay up to par, fallen behind a little bit more often, but we did it and it was good. You know, truth be told, I could sit here and talk to you guys for like 10 more minutes, but I am really tired. Right now, I really just want a good hot shower, get some sleep. Remember, I didn't sleep much last night, and we had a really hard working day today, plus we tore everything down. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. Until the next time I see you, keep those engines running.